diversity, for unity, socio-economic and political development. Shatima made the call during the 37th edition of the Akesan Cultural Day at Christ Apostolic Grammar School in Iberuremo, Ogun State. He emphasized the federal government's commitment to prioritizing traditional institutions and in navigating the nation's diversity and ensuring quality transformation in people's lives. Your Royal Highnesses, this festival serves as an opportunity to reinforce President Bola Ahmed's commitment, giving priority to our traditional institutions in navigating the intricacies of our diversity. And we pledge to honor these assurances, ensuring positive transformations in the lives of our people, still in the essence of the unity we have brought as a nation. It symbolizes the habit of our nation. And our concept has not become the template for the resilience of our cultural practices as vehicles for progress. The essence of our past to shape a brighter future for generations to come. Together, hand in hand, let us continue to work for the continued development and greatness of our nation. Community to community, culture to culture, state to state, and region to region. I thank you all for making us a part of your memory, a part of your history. God bless you all. Governor Dakwa Abiodun, an indigene of the town, seized the opportunity to showcase his developmental programs for development. We as a government will continue to build on the foundation we made in the last four years by relatively implementing our vision through our share pillars. Despite constructing over 500 kilometers of interstate and interstate road, we will continue to identify roads of socioeconomic importance to our people. Despite constructing over 1,000 schools, we will not stop until every clear in Ogun is provided a befitting and conducive learning environment. Despite building over 3,000 affordable homes, we will not stop. And yes, we are constructing over 100 primary health care centers. We will support our target of providing one PhD in each of our 236 political wards. We will soon be launching our e-mobility scheme that will see us swapping our petrol for the cutters and trying to have the ones. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.